Mars makes its move on 17th of May until 27th of June Mars will be highly influenced by Jupiter Pisces is a water sign Pisces is a zodiac sign where Venus gets exalted Jupiter is in its own house and therefore this is literally not the place for a fighter a warrior You can say Pisces is the sthan of gurus of Jupiter and Venus Any strong planet any planet that has lot of power gets dissolved in Pisces be it sun or be it mars Pisces is like an ocean and when mars goes in Pisces this is called navy soldiers who will fight in waters so definitely when mars goes in this zodiac sign your energy your passion your desire will be more towards understanding the philosophy of life more towards understanding what is right and what is wrong and more towards dissolving the assets and trying to build wealth out of that so if you are looking to for selling of your asset this is the right time with respect to pisces aries and scorpio are very good houses aries is the second house and scorpio is the ninth house so what is mars actually rules mars rules your entire personal life it rules your wealth and it rules your dharma and destiny and when this planet goes in the first house the first thing you will do in this time frame is understand the dharma towards yourself self discovery through surrender self discovery through wisdom self discovery through knowledge and when mars jupiter comes together the action begins by decluttering your life dissolving things that are not needed removing the clutter and therefore increasing the wealth and changing your destiny and this should be your aim irrespective of whatever mahadasha or antadasha you are in mangal in hindi is called something that is auspicious so this is a very auspicious transit and you can expect certain positive energy emanating out of the planets and therefore radiating out of your personality because if the first house is affected it is about your personality but yes you should also not ignore the fact that mars as a planet as a natural warrior will be frustrated in this zodiac sign or but because guru is present there if mars is ready to learn if mars is ready to forget that he is a warrior rather a soldier who is in training center a soldier who is being who is becoming a student do not carry weapons to school do not carry weapons to the academy and therefore he must drop the weapons that means he must first be ready to surrender drop the defense and then learn the plus and the minus of all areas of life people who are affected by blood pressure especially thyroid and kidney is related issues should be very careful in this time frame because any hypertension will be affecting you negatively now we cannot ignore the presence of rahu in the sign of aries because rahu being in the zodiac of mars will affect mangal and during the transit of mars in pisces there's something else that will happen and that is rahu will change the nakshatra from kritika to bharani therefore sudden cognizance of responsibility of a family member might come in your life or a new responsibility of a person that is entering your family and this responsibility can be a responsibility where you are involved to be present personally like physically handling a sick person or financially trying to handle someone's responsibility is very high in this time frame and you will not be able to run away from this responsibility because that is your dharma if you get frustrated this will drain your energy so how you what you should do you should conserve your energy and while you are conserving your energy you should help try to help as much as possible this is also the time when the body weight can increase especially the water weight can increase but 
you can also work towards the reduction of the fat because Mars is the acceleration, the, the action happening in the Pisces zodiac sign. So it is the Samudra Manthan that brings out the knowledge. And when Rahu in the second house creates insecurity, the entry of Mars in the first house counters that insecurity through wisdom. So there will be thoughts, there will be negative feelings and emotions naturally coming through the family, through the wealth. There will be insecurities in your life. This Mangal will counter Rahu's negative energy and will give you the necessary wisdom to understand the events, the way they are happening and why they are happening. And Mars 8th aspect will fall over Ketu. Now that is where Mars is fighting Rahu and Ketu. See, Rahu being in the zodiac of Mars and the nakshatra of, of Sun and then in Venus will try to influence Mars as much as possible. Therefore, you will see that the events in your family, your financial condition, the food that you eat, your lifestyle is going to influence you a lot. And because it influences you negatively, you will be forced to bring a change there. And it is good to bring a change in this time frame. Because if you don't, Mars 8th aspect will start destroying Ketu in the 8th house. That means there can be a threat to your existence in the career. There can be a threat of health, not the severe ones, but some problem related to health that will push you to change and transform your personality, transform the way you deal with the situation. So being aware of the planetary energy and taking the initiative beforehand will prevent any such event from happening. At least the scale will be reduced to a manageable level. Also, when Mars is with Jupiter, the desire to marry will increase. You might find the need of a family, of a partner, of a reliable friend, and you will get that also in the form of guru, in the form of mentor. You might also find a reliable teacher who will guide you through this chaotic time. When Mars seventh aspect is falling on the seventh house, remember this is the sign of Virgo. Virgo is the natural dispute, natural sixth house, and Mars will try to dominate that. Therefore, this time can also make you dominate over your enemies through knowledge by influencing through words. That's what Rahu will do in the second house. But remember, do not project knowledge that you don't have. Only tell what you know. This is the time when you leave your comfort zone to create a new comfort zone. And because of the unsettling thoughts, you will also see a disturbed sleep because Saturn will be in the 12th house in the nakshatra of Mars aspecting Rahu. This Mars is going to create strategies for finances. You are supposed to take actions and initiatives that transforms your life. And if you don't take it, you will be pushed towards that. So don't let planets push you because you will be only pushed when there are problems, when there are insecurities, because that's a human nature. Unless there is pain, we don't address that. So do not let planets create pain just because they want to give you something. Accept it happily. Now, Saturn, which is in the 12th house, will also become retrograde on 5th of June. I will make another video for that. And because of the retrogression of Saturn, there will be a lot of decisions that you will have to revisit in this time frame. So you must give proper attention to that part of your life also. Overall, this is a very auspicious transit. It is a transit where the focus will be on you. If you take care of the expenses, you will see that you will declutter your life. You will be able to plan and strategize your time. People who are looking for anger management and personality development will also see a proper growth. Career related growth is going to happen in this time frame and expect a promotion, a new job, transformation in business and bringing discipline and hierarchy in your business will be best in this time frame. Also try to ensure 
that you do puja every day at the place of your work beat your desk or beat your office check the gate entry gate and of of your office and or your home and if there is any vastu dosh try to correct that have a nice chair where you are comfortably sitting spend an extra buck there so that it gives you more and more comfort while you work in your place of action you must give yourself some sort of comfort buying good pair of shoes because you want to run or walk or buying a good chair because you sit and work having a comfortable desk is much needed in this time frame so that your focus is not diverted by small unnecessary disturbances that ketu might create this is a war between mars and ketu remember that also your investments should be watched and monitored on a day to day basis and if you see there is going to be any unwanted ups and downs you should take a call on that investment then and there property related investment is okay in this time frame but if you really want to sell your land your property for liquidation this is the best time for that people who work in electrical line electronics telecommunication banking and finance loan department insurance debt collectors all these areas will see good improvement while this mars transit happens in first house people who are trying to enroll into navy air force will see that their chances will be increased just pay more and more attention towards your health and your studies overall this is a very good time make the best use of it chant hanuman chalisa every day and chant ek mukhi hanumat kavach for protection